Hi, I'm James Schillinglaw, and I'm here at the Hotel Hendrix in Manhattan. We, in fact, we're up here on the rooftop bar. I'm with Pablo Magoya, who is the managing director of both Hotel Hendrix and Hotel Hugo in Manhattan. And we're going to find out all about this brand new property, Hotel Hendrix. And this is Insider Travel Report. Pablo, we just finished a stay here. It's an amazing little property, uh, boutique property, uh, four star, um, and uh, it just really just opened, right? That is correct. We just opened up about a month ago. We have our grand opening coming up on September 16th. Mm -hmm. uh, our bar just opened up two weeks ago. So yeah, we are brand new. Okay, well tell me a little bit about uh, Hotel Hendrix and who's behind Hotel Hugo and who Hotel Hendrix. Sure, so the, uh, the ownership company is Fortuna Realty Company okay. at Morris Moynian. Uh, the genesis of this property really kind of developed from Hotel Hugo, which opened up about four and a half years ago uh, in, so, uh, in Soho. Um, such great success that we opted to make this a purely independent property as well, uh, named it Hotel Hendrix, and uh, that's really kind of the genesis of it, is based on the success uh, and the emotional connection that guests have with Hotel Hugo, and that's what we're trying to emulate here at uh, Hotel Hendrix. And then you told me a little story about why all these hotels have are start with the letter H, right? Correct. So Morris is uh, uh, Morris is very impassioned by the uh, the whole philosophy of the W chain and the idea of of conceptually building a brand like that. Uh, so that's where we've come up with the H. So it's kind of a fun story. But then you also have um, a hotel like you have the hotel out in Long Island, the Garden City, right? There. That's correct. Garden Garden City Hotel is a strictly independent property as well. Uh, it's been around a lot longer than Hotel Hugo, uh, and that is uh, a completely different genre of hotel. Um, 20,000 square feet of event space, sure. a beautiful Elizabeth Arden gar uh, uh, Red Door Spa. So it's a different type of hotel, but in a, a different and also in a different part of Manhattan. Well, you're only one letter off, though. H and G. That is correct. That's correct. That's yeah. right. Now, uh, tell us a little bit about the accommodations here. They're really uh, there's really everything you need. How many different rooms? How many rooms do you have? So we have 176 rooms here. Okay. Um, there's a variety of rooms with uh, king beds, rooms with two full beds, and rooms with queen beds. Okay. Um, Hugo is a little simpler of a process where there's only rooms with king beds and rooms with two full beds. Okay. So we try to simplify, simplify, simplify the process of selling these hotels by minimizing the n types of hotel rooms. A lot of hotel rooms or hotels nowadays will have like five, six, seven, eight different room types. Sure. It becomes a little confusing in the whole selling Very process. Well so we try to simplify things in just minimizing the types of rooms that we have. Now, and also it's all brand new construction. So I think you're what, 25 stories or something? Correct. 25 stories stories yeah now, of course the rooms are one thing uh, you have your food and beverage the restaurant downstairs is called Paloma Paloma okay. is a, 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 a sort of a Latin infused type of restaurant um, it gets its influences from Peru uh, from South America uh, and some influences from the Mexican uh, Central American area um, this one the bar upstairs is called Bar uh, Hendrix Okay, Bar Hendrix. Bar Hendrix is uh, really non-denominational when it comes to the style of what we do drink-wise, food-wise. But upstairs, which will eventually open up for next year, is a completely outdoor bar, which will be a, it's yet to be named. Uh, we'll have a little opening party for it, and that will be a Latin-inspired bar. And that's above us, or is that? That's right above us, completely outdoors with beautiful south-facing uh, views of Manhattan. Well, right now, you got a beautiful one. We're actually looking at the Empire State Building. Yes. Although it's pretty, you, can't, you can't get a better view of the Empire State Building than that. Either. Right. Yeah. We're, I'm mesmerized mm -hmm. every time I come up here. Yeah. Absolutely. Now, uh, what's your target market with this hotel? Uh, who, are you, who are you after? Sure. Um, you know, it's probably about half of our market was going to be the leisure market, uh, just because of our proximity to you know a lot of the beautiful sites of Manhattan, the Empire State Building, Bryant Park, Central Park, Times Square. So a lot of it is going to be targeted toward the leisure market. However, we can't survive on just the leisure market, so there's going to be a, a fair percentage of that is going to be corporate group and com a lot of the companies that are in this area. Well, I mean, it is. It's very central. It's you know West 38th Street, uh, and then. Uh, you know, well, the other thing is you have, you actually have some, you know, competition, although New York is crazy with sure. hotels, as you know. Uh, you have, I think there, there are two other ho boutique hotels. Uh, what do you, how do you hope to make Hotel Hendrix stand out? Right. So everything for us is really comes from, 
from the very basics of interviewing people, we are looking for people who have shared values, employees that have shared values, values that are uh, based in around humor, integrity, respect, um, sense of service. And what happens with that is that sort of starts creating a guest experience where people become emotionally attached to the hotel. We've been very successful at Hotel Hugo creating that environment. The owner has created these beautiful hotels and it's my responsibility with employees to build souls. The soul of Hugo is going to be living here at Hendrix in a little bit of a different spin, but the common thread is finding the right employees that know how to treat people where the, a guest leaves here emotionally attached to the hotel. Right. And that's what is going to differentiate us from anybody else in this area is that they're going to be in contact with people who make an emotional attachment to the hotel. Well, it's gorgeous. I mean, we have these incredible chandeliers here. We have the beautiful flowers, and, and downstairs you have that little garden in the back of uh, the restaurant, which is really a lovely kind of quiet space away from the, the busy streets outside. Yeah, that's true. Uh, so the Peruvian garden back there is uh, sort of a key uh, feature of the hotel where people can go back there, have a cup of coffee during the day, maybe have a sip on, uh, on a sangria or a glass of champagne for some people who prefer their champagne. <laughs> um, but it is so, a secret oasis in the hotel for guests predominantly, but uh, we also obviously welcome anybody who happens to be walking past. Now, what w else would you tell travel advisors out there about this property that they should know in terms, in terms of how to sell it? Um, I think that uh, obviously, you know, the location is very key. We're very centralized to Manhattan. All the subway lines are very convenient to us. Whether you want to go up, up and down the uh, east side or up and down the west side, um, you know, the parks, Times Square is very important to us. But I think the combination of room types is very important. Again, um, being in this part of town, having a, a variety and a good quantity of rooms with two beds is very important to the families that come to Manhattan to want to help celebrate what we have as a city, um, you know, bring your kids, that kind of thing is very family oriented. Well, it is, and it's in, so central. You're right two blocks away from Bryant Park. You're just a few blocks away from the Empire State Building. Uh, you are in the heart of the Manhattan. You're not that far from Times Square. Uh, it is an incredibly centrally located hotel, and it really is a beautiful hotel. So I would say, Look, look at your clients who want to visit Midtown Manhattan. This is a, definitely an option. I mean, you can go with the chains and things like that, and they're great, but this is really a very special new hotel, brand new. And in fact, I think uh, you'll be seeing this uh, exactly the day it has the grand opening on September 16th. I think we can time that right. We can absolutely pin that. It's okay. going to happen. Thanks very much. Great to see you, Pablo. We really appreciate the time and uh, look forward to all your travelers. I'm James Schillinglaw and this is Insider Travel Report.